can't stand it much longer. I've got to do something. Oh, look at that! The Buckingham Guards! Who's that? American tourists. Ah, that gives me an idea. Oh, listen, they're this terrific. Aren't they adorable? They're so handsome. There we go. <laughs> How's about a great big kiss, baby? <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Danny Kay. Every time it rains, it rains, pennies from heaven. Don't you know each cloud contains pennies from heaven? You'll find your fortune falling all over town. Be sure that your umbrella is upside down. Trade them for a package of sunshine and flowers. If you want the things you love, you must have showers. So when you hear it thunder, don't run under a tree. There'll be pennies from heaven for you and me. Pray them for a package of sunshine and flowers. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the show. We are... <laughs> I, I have a feeling we're all in luck because tonight we have some wonderful guests for you. And tonight I think we're going to hit the jackpot, too. Let's see. Ah, uh, yeah, you see? There you have it. One, two, three stars and a lemon. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in our next scene, Danny Kaye and Alan Young will show you what happens when two husbands take the family wash to an automatic laundry for the very first time. Baxter. Harry Temple, what a surprise. <laughs> I, I thought you were out playing golf every Saturday morning. Oh, well, uh, George, I usually am, but yeah? uh, since my wife is busy this Saturday, I told her I'd do the laundry. Oh, well, what's she doing? <laughs> playing golf. <laughs> uh, by the way, George, I'm glad you came along. How much, uh, how much of this starch should you, should you put in here? Well, would you have a full load of wash? Oh, full load, yeah. Well, yeah. I would think a full box of starch. Yeah. <laughs> Makes sense, boy. Oh, sure. <laughs> um, uh, there we are. There we are. Good. Well, let me put this in. It's certainly nice here today, isn't, isn't it? Isn't it, Mike? Can yeah. I help you? Oh, yeah, please. Oh, thank you. Nice. Yeah. Right in here. There we are. Oh, I must say, it's, it's so pleasant here. It's so pleasant here without the ladies. We don't have to listen to any idle gossip and everything. Oh, it's marvelous. That drives me crazy. Me too. Oh, I mean... Everybody trying to find out what's new around the yeah, neighborhood, you yeah, know, what's new. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, what is new around the neighborhood? <laughs> I thought you'd never ask. Are you ready? I'm ready. Huh? What? What? 
But who, who, who? Listen, hmm. I heard the Simpsons are getting a divorce. No! Yes. I almost thought they were the, the perfect couple. No! Oh, 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 listen, I could tell you things you... Uh, tell me, tell me. Well, it all started when she wanted one night a week out with the girls. Yeah. yeah. And he thought it should be 50-50. Well, what do you mean? He wanted one night a week out with the girls, too. <laughs> well, I never... And uh, never? Oh, now and again. Yeah. <laughs> well, anyway, I shouldn't be telling you this, but they're finished. Huh? W.T. W.T.? Yeah, washed up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Well. <laughs> Just yesterday morning, she called her lawyer. How do you know? I'm her lawyer. <laughs> <laughs> well, look, uh, between, uh, between you and me and the gatepost, let me tell you something about him. What? Yeah, what? What? Well, I'll tell you yes. something about him. What? Now, let me, uh, let yes. me, please, let me tell you something about him. What? He has never been the same since his operation. Well, if anyone knows, you certainly should, Doctor. Yeah. <laughs> I did it. Yeah, just like that. Yeah. <laughs> hey, speaking of being done, I think my washing is done. I like it. Nothing to this, is it? Oh, no, no. Snap. Not it's a snap. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I guess the whole box of starch was too much, huh? Uh, looks like it. Huh? Let me see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I would think so. Look at that. Oh! Oh, what? Look, my wife is gonna be furious! Oh. What am I gonna do now? I know. Let's put them all back in here. Fine. I'll, I'll, I'll put a whole box of detergent in. Uh, Maybe that'll wash out the starch. Fine. Huh? And what I'll do is I'll put this in the dryer, you We're see? We're doing it. Yes. We're doing it. Yes. Nothing to this. Right. Oh! Oh! Excuse me. Ah, uh, nothing to this, George. Oh, George! George! Hey, George! Ah, oh, come on, George. Stop kidding around. Sit down here. And... <laughs> you dried up, George? I think so. Let's stay out of trouble. Uh, till our laundry's finished, huh? All right. All right. Let's, Let's not tell our wives what happened. They'll think we're stupid. Oh, I don't know why they should think that. It could happen to anybody. Yeah, you're right. We're all entitled to one little mistake now I and again. So. Look, if they don't like the way we do the laundry, they can certainly bring it down here themselves. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, one of the brightest new stars on the Broadway horizon, Miss Liza Minnelli. Life, there's a plan. Why 
Thank you, Danny. Now, I haven't seen you in such a long time, ever since you were a little tiny girl. Oh. I've been longing to talk to you. Well, I've been longing to dance with you. D dance with me? Yeah, is it all right? Well, yeah, why don't we do them together? Talk and dance together? And yeah, then we won't have to long any longer. Oh, huh? okay. Let's talk it over. There's lots to talk about. Let's walk it over. What's there to bark about? Let's talk it over. Talk while we knock about. Let's take a single minute. Can't find a thing again. It wouldn't it be entrancing if we talked while we were dancing? We could have a conversation. Talk about. We could talk about the weather while we fool around together. Let's talk it over. And while we get about, let's knock it over. What's to be mad about? Let's talk it over. Glad that we had it out now. What do you say? Oh, what do you hear? What do you know? I'm really delighted that you could come by. You're looking as healthy as blueberry pie. Oh. Well, Danny, I'm sure it's been over a year, so what you been doing this season, my dear? Have you read any books that are spicy and juicy? No, but I managed to learn the Watusi. may be stronger here where the world is growing colder here where the world is growing older here where the world is getting high here where the market's catching fire talk 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 here a talk 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 Chattel certainly make you happier. A chappy, even snap here. What's the point of hesitating if you like communicating? Start with. 
with something trivial, and soon you'll be convivial. So let's talk it over. Get up and give up. Let's knock it over. Let up and give up. Let's talk it over. Forget and forgive up. Life is a moment. I'll tell you how. Mr. Ed's two-footed friend, Mr. Alan Young. Well, I must say, Alan, it's very, very nice to have you with us. You really mean that? Why, of course. Something wrong, Alan? Oh, yeah, yeah, Danny. I'm, I'm, I'm so used to working with a horse that... I feel kind of nervous around people, you know? Oh, relax, Alan. Everybody around here is just crazy about you. We all love you. Oh, yeah? Does that include you? Well, of course. Uh-huh. How come you haven't nuzzled me yet? <laughs> well, not as good as Ed, but thanks a lot. <laughs> Thank you. It's the little things, you know. I know, I know. The Not carry of the day, you know. Yeah. Listen, I've been meaning to ask you something. What was it like all those years when you were co-starring with a horse? Oh, it was the same as working with any other star. I mean, really? when, when things were going well, Ed was a sweetheart, but if something was bothering him, watch out. Uh-oh. Bad temper? Oh, well, one show the horse didn't like some of his dialogue. Yeah. What happened? He ate the script. <laughs> I did that once, too. Oh, did you? Yeah. <laughs> I won't ask you when. <laughs> Alan, did you ever have any awkward moments with uh, Mr. Ed? Yes. Did yes. You? Yeah, yeah. Well, but I knew how to handle him. Oh, well. Yeah, once during a scene, Mr. Ed stepped right on my foot. R uh, on your foot? <laughs> well, how do you tell a 900-pound horse to get off your foot? With great sincerity. <laughs> well, I'm sure Mr. Ed didn't mean it. Oh, it was just a natural, honest mistake. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Talking about honest mistakes. You want to hear a Lulu? Yeah. John? John Gary. You know Alan. Oh. So we, uh, we, 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 were talking, we were talking about honest mistakes a minute ago, and there's something I never told you, but do you remember last Friday when you invited me to dinner? Yeah. Well, I plum completely forgot about it. It just went out of my head, like that. And I was home, I went home, and I started having my dinner, and suddenly as I was, I was uh, finishing dessert, it dawned on me. I said, oh my, I was invited to John's house to have dinner, and so I rushed over to your house, and I sat down and ate, ate a whole other dinner. <laughs> <laughs> this is something I never told you, Dan. What? You weren't invited to dinner that night. <laughs> <laughs> well, John, it was just an honest mistake. An honest mistake from the heart When I entertained in Paris At a fancy dress-up ball How was I to know that tall brunette Was really Charles de Gaulle? It was just a little tiny teeny Just a eeny meeny weeny Just an honest mistake Something we all have to face I kept turning down a series Till my wife exerted force I said, who'd want to watch a TV show About a talking horse? It was just a tiny little slip-up Anyone is bound to trip up Just an honest mistake Mistake, that's the idea. Something that we can't just fellas together. Once 
Once a record company asked me to please record a song. I said I left my heart in San Francisco strikes me wrong. It was just a little tiny boo-boo. It's so mean when all of you boo. Anyone can make a slight mistake. Mr. Gallup said that Truman was the losing candidate. Wah, wah. Mr. Bonaparte marched to Russia and was clobbered at the gate. Wah, wah. Mr. Ford put out the Edsel. Mr. Nixon said, let's debate. It was just a little tiny teeny. Should have skipped that last martini. Just an unsophisticated, strictly unpremeditated. Just an unpremeditated. Every great singer really has imitators, but what makes a singer really great is that he imitates no one. He's in a class by himself. Now I'd like you to meet once again our own personal favorite, John Gary. to spend the springs together before we learned to walk we used to laugh and sing together before we learned how to talk with no reason for the season spring would end as it would start now the season has a reason and there's springtime The most beautiful girl in the world Picks my ties out Eats my candy Drinks my brandy The most beautiful girl in the world The most beautiful star in the sky Isn't Garbo isn't Dietrich, but the sweet trick who can make me believe it's a beautiful world. Social, not a bit, natural kind of wit. She'd shine anywhere, and she hasn't got platinum hair. The most beautiful house in the world has a mortgage. What do I care? It's goodbye care when my slippers are next to the ones that belong to the one and only beautiful girl in the Monaco. And Barney's Junker. Speedway Crack Up. From the best selling novel, The Agony and the X Ray. <laughs> Attention, attention, will Mr. Angus McPherson, Angus McPherson, owner of the Ferragio, please come to the pit stop. Uh, uh, 
a magnificent car. Uh, this afternoon, my pet, you will dazzle the entire racing world. And I, Angus McPherson McDermott McKenzie, will be McFamous. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, tell me, is it true that you're entering the new Faraggio in the big race? Hey, it's true, lass. The Faraggio will bring you the most coveted prize in the entire racing world. The Le Mans Grand Prix and all that goes with it. The gold trophy, $10,000 and free air for my bagpipes. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, it's never been tested. Why, why, this car is still in the experimental stage. It's a death trap. Oh, only a blithering idiot with a mind of a boob would drive it. Il quarto tono delle verse si cresce le barse. Le nozzo e che nelle barse è automobile e tante le barse si chiede terzo, forzoro, selezze nelle carte. Buongiorno. Uh, how's the tricks? Marcello. Marcello Baloni. See, that's your name. Oh, Marcello, Marcello, my own, my darling. Well, what did the doctors say? Well, uh, they tell me I have a nine broken rib, ma they heal it together nice and nice. Uh, it's not so easy to kill the great baloney, you know. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, my darling, my darling. If I could only put my arms around you and, and hold you close, but, but I wouldn't want to hurt you. Well, uh, it's all right. We have a saying in Napoli. Questo la tutte fonge e bonge le barda e stazza neri o cotto revenza le velda zando. Which mean when the heart she is full of love and the body feels no pain. Oh my sweet. They also have a saying in Milano, don't listen to what they say in Napoli. <laughs> Marcello, see, I called you here because I want you to race my new Faraggio. Uh, uh, I'll give you $10,000 and pay half your doctor bills. Oh, please, please, Daddy, don't make Marcello race. Well, I, I love Marcello. We want to get married. Oh, Daddy, doesn't my happiness mean more to you than winning a big race? No, daughter, no. Every penny I've got, every penny is tied up in this car. For 25 years, I've scrimped and saved and done without luxuries. I don't even own a pair of pants. <laughs> Whenever I go out, your mother's got to stay home. <laughs> That's no use. I am making my mind. I'm not going to race no more. Maggie and I are going to get married and have a bambino. You married, eh? Ah, oh, you're full of baloney, baloney. Eh? You'll never change. Racing is in your blood. Well, you, you've, you've got an automobile for a heart. <laughs> <laughs> I do like that. Some a doctor I have, eh? You forgot to take the horn out, eh? Nothing will change my mind. Oh, good. Nothing you say. No. Nothing. 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 No. Not even the Faraggio. Look at her, laddie. No, 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 I'm not going to look. Down, lassie. Look at her, laddie. No, where do you find the master? It's a quarter, I'm not going to look. 2,000 horsepower, man. No, no, no. At 5,400 RPM, we had 12 to 1 compression ratio. No, I'm not going to look. Fuel injection. No, no, no. $36 down and 36 years to pay. I'm not look. Look at her, laddie. Look at her, I say 50 times, I know look. What do you say, no look? No look, my child. I told you, I know look at the car. And I know. One a little peek, maybe. Look at the car. That 
That's a beautiful room. <laughs> what a beautiful car. Marcello, Marcello, you choose now. It's me or the Ferragio. Uh, I think I'm gonna put a Ferragio in my garage, oh, honey. <laughs> Here I come now. Beep. Oh, too late. Eh? <laughs> drivers to your cars for the Grand Prix de Sport. Two minutes. Drivers to your cars. Here. You'll be driving the safest, most efficient automotive design ever oh, thought no, of. No, no, my cello, my cello, it's never even been tested. Oh, nonsense. There are just a few little kinks. Start it up. <laughs> That's a one. I told you there were a few little kinks. Rev up the engine. That's a two. You're lining up. You bring me that trophy, Marcello. Oh, Marcello, Marcello, be careful. Yeah, no worry. Don't forget to pull down the safety bubble. Uh, listen, you know worry, eh? You take it to the bus and leave it to driving to us, eh? <laughs> have a start. And Bologna takes first position. With one lap to go, it looks like Marcello Bologna in the Faraggio. have failed and the Ferraggio is about to be demolished. That's four. Oh, my cello! Save your breath, lass. Nothing can stop that car. That's incredible. He stopped the car. Oh, oh my darling, my darling. No, no, wait, wait, wait. wait. Oh. It's my last place. I got here a little too soon. It's all right. <laughs> Tell me, man. Yes. How did you stop the car without any brakes? I did it the only thing I could do. For the last mile and a half, I dragged my foot what? along the ground. <laughs> Black, a lot of black stuff on me in there that I couldn't wash off. Looks like I still have a mustache, doesn't it? Huh? No, that's not me. I mean, it's the black ink. Honestly. Who? Um, I got a Christmas card at Christmas time. And the reason uh, I wanted to talk to you about it for a minute, a lot of people have said to me, I don't know what to get you for Christmas. You have everything you want, and we rack our brain, and we try to think of something to give you. And then I got this Christmas card. Because I'm, I've, I've gone through the same thing about, I wonder what I'm going to give so-and-so, and I wonder what I'm going to give so-and-so. And then this Christmas card came, and it reflected the true spirit of Christmas. It didn't have to do with giving anything to anybody. And I think that's what was meant when people said it is more joyous to give than to receive. It's a thought, a simple thought, and I value that Christmas card as much as any present I ever got. And it said simply, I salute you. There is nothing I can give you which you have not got. But there is much, very much, that while I cannot give it, you can take. 
No heaven can come to us unless our hearts find rest in today. Take heaven. No peace lies in the future which is not hidden in this present little instant. Take peace. The gloom of the world is but a shadow. Behind it, yet within our reach, is joy. There is radiance and glory in the darkness, could we but see. And to see, we have only to look. I beseech you to look. And so at this time, I greet you. Not quite as the world sends greetings, but with profound esteem and with prayer that for you now and forever, the day breaks and the shadows flee away. Isn't that nice? Hey, Paul, what is the, the show that the song is from that we're going to do? Allegro. Allegro, yeah. As, as pretty as that thought on the Christmas card is this next song we're going to sing. I think it says practically everything that needs to be said at one given time. Paul? <clears throat> a fella needs a girl His own kind of girl My 